What do you think of when you hear the phrase emitting radiation? Do you think it's a good thing or a bad thing? What if I told you it was vital for life on Earth? In this video, we're going to learn about radiation, temperature and global warming. The hotter the object, the more infrared radiation it gives out. Infrared radiation can be used to monitor temperatures. The hotter an object, the brighter it appears. So viewing a house with an infrared camera can reveal where the heat is being lost, and so where better insulation is needed. Infrared cameras can also help in search for people in the dark. They detect the body heat given off. This can be used to find lost children or to find hiding criminals. Infrared radiation also has many other uses. It can be used to transmit signals via remote controls or optical fibers. It's used in cooking, like in a toaster. But none of these uses are vital for life on Earth, whereas the greenhouse effect is. Radiation is emitted by the sun. This radiation travels towards the Earth until it reaches our atmosphere. The atmosphere acts like a filter. It allows some radiation through and blocks out others. The Earth absorbs the short wavelength radiation, mainly visible light and infrared. The infrared warms the surface of the Earth. The Earth then emits some of the radiation back into space, thus cooling the planet down a little. The radiation emitted back into space tends to be longer wavelength infrared radiation. However, a lot of this emitted infrared radiation is actually absorbed by gases in our atmosphere, including carbon dioxide, water vapor, and methane. These gases then radiate heat in all directions, some of which heads back to Earth once more. So the atmosphere is a layer of insulation that keeps us just at the right temperature. And this is called the greenhouse effect. You can think of the atmosphere as like being a big duvet that keeps our Earth at just the right temperature. And it has been working very well for billions of years. That is, until us humans have started to run riot and cause a problem called global warming. By burning fossil fuels and deforestation, we've greatly increased the amount of carbon dioxide in our atmosphere. By farming more cattle and putting rubbish in dumps, we've increased the amount of methane in the atmosphere. Misuse of fertilizer in agriculture is increasing the nitrous oxide in the atmosphere. So we're increasing the amounts of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, which creates more insulation and increases the temperature of the Earth. Global warming leads to climate change and changes the weather patterns. So whilst our planet needs to retain some of the sun's infrared radiation to stay at our optimum temperature, we definitely don't want it to get too hot. Please like and share our videos with your friends. If you have any questions that you want help with, just comment below.